What's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for December 15, 2015. Let's jump on into it, shall we? I saw a little tight crying his little lungs out. Teresa trying to test him and let him know. No, we're not going to run every time you cry. You wear too fair. So what the hell you crying for? No, my mom used to tell me. And look at Teresa trying to be a mother. I'm actually proud of you, Teresa. This the first me saying is I'm actually proud of you. Who would have thought that I'd be saying good job, Teresa, being a good mother? Well, for this scene, rather. I ain't going to jump that far saying getting a good mother. I just said for this scene. Oh, Jesus have mercy. Abigail, it has not been a month yet. What the fuck are you doing? Get ready to have sex. And Chad, what the hell is wrong with you? Didn't that girl just go through a traumatic event and now you trying to have sex with her? The hell wrong with y'all two kids? That's nasty. And how could y'all think about sex after what Ben and did to y'all? Or y'all just don't give a fuck? I wouldn't give a fuck neither, but that's just nasty. You help? Thank you, Ch thank you, Chad. Take better care of her. That don't mean taking care of her sexual needs. That's right. I'm glad somebody got enough sense to stop. Uh, Abigail was ready to go like it was nobody's business. Thank you, Chad. I'm glad somebody got some sense. And it's a relationship, friendship, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Fuck friends. I'm glad somebody know how to cut, know how to shut it down. That so Abigail was ready to go. Ready, she was ready or not. Uh, who wouldn't feel safe around Chad? Oh, wait, he can't fight. Well, at least you'll have to help him fight. But I'm glad you're feeling safe now, Abigail, finally. Let's just hope Ben don't come back out no woodwork, come back harassing you again, torturing you again. But I think this might be it. I guess Chad might start dating. At least we all can hope they'll start dating. Do something they've been waiting to ever since they met them trying to do. But they ain't never got it right, Chad. So maybe they'll start dating. Maybe they run this in the stars this time. Or they just gonna be fuck friends for the rest of their lives, I guess. Ew, Teresa and, and Brady. Ew, Teresa and Brady have a sex. Mm mm. No. Mm mm. Are y'all okay? Uh uh. Teresa and Brady. What y'all reckon on kid number two? Or should I say, Teresa, you reckon on kid number three? Kid number two. Oh, my land. Jesus Lord. Some diapers are designed to swap. Abigail and these damn nightmares. Yeah, Ben put a number on that ass. I thought that would have teach you a lesson. Hopefully your lesson still getting learned and you won't have sex for two months. We shall see how long you can hold out. At least Chad got enough sense to say no, no. But you say yes, yes. I'm glad at least Charles wanted him not to use you like that. The many times he have used you, I'm just glad he didn't mature and not and not gonna use you like that. Oh Jesus, we doing bedtime story, Chad. Chad, you showing out now. We doing bedtime story, and you talking about some as you like as you could tell it to Thomas. Okay, Chad, we gonna play along, but we know you not serious. <laughs> a beautiful princess named Abigail. <laughs> Say what? A beautiful princess named Abigail. I'm just going to leave y'all image in y'all head. And I'm going to let y'all fill in the blank. I'm just going to be quiet. And you can tell Chad I want to tell this goddamn story. He don't know what the fuck to say. Abigail story in his head. Okay. That bitch will freeze in Antarctica. What the hell you talking about here? She couldn't make it in the damn cabin. How the fuck she gonna last in our Antarctica? Oh, Lord, she got magic beans. Now, what the fuck kind of story this is? That's all I want to know. Three months, and we're not being used. Okay, that's enough story time for me. My stomach upset. This damn stupid ass story. Ooh, Jesus, the chat man, Abigail. Forget the white, white mm. I would have stopped fighting the white whale. 
If I had to go to Abigail over the white well, the white well, here I come. Fuck the damn Abigail. Lord Jesus. Oh, and you want to read her print, Charmin now, Chad? Oh, okay. I'm just look. Let's play story time, y'all. You want to play story time? Let's go ahead and go with. Oh, y'all little heavily after Al after you met the after you met the um the Prince Chad. Oh, okay, she then fell back to sleep again, y'all, and now he crying. Yep, that story is about you, Chad. That's why you over there crying. You know you love that girl. I don't know why you playing like that. Lord have mercy, the wild animal Teresa and the wild animal Brady going at it again. Ain't that some shit? It look like JJ finna sneak him a kiss in on, on um, Gabby. Yup, he finna kiss her. I really hope you treat her right now, JJ. I ain't like the way you treat Payne, but I really hope you treat Gabby right now. They kissing. Yeah, Gabby been a while since you had one of them kisses, huh? I guess. We shall see how this relationship goes. Abigail knocked the fuck out. Yeah, but that was the episode. They showed all the lovers at the end. Kissing and culling and whatever have not you. But like, share, comment. Let me know what you have to go out today's episode. What do you think about the relationship that's happening or going to happen? Um... Follow me on all my social media that you see down there in the bottom bar. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you later. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.